Hello, my name is Alan Boulding and I'm the Director of Technical Marketing on the Cisco Security Team. The Identity Services Engine offers one policy control point for identity and access control. It provides device security for wired, wireless, and VPN networks. ICE also serves as a TrustSec controller to define TrustSec policy. TrustSec is a tagging technology used to segment a network and to limit access to critical resources. TrustSec does not rely on conventional enforcement mechanisms such as VLANs and access control lists that are highly labor intensive and also prone to error. In a TrustSec solution, ICE contextually categorizes users by role, device type, username, and much more. And then once categorized, ICE pushes a tag to the router switch or controller. And it is that tag that is used to determine appropriate policy. One interesting use case of TrustSec is how it could be used to automate VM server provisioning. I'll show you the actual demo in just a moment, but it's a little bit easier if you understand first what's going on. We have the Identity Services Engine. Identity Services Engine is responsible for binding the names and numbers and pushing that information to the firewalls as well as the Nexus 7K. The firewall is being controlled by ASDM. Now, it could have been controlled by CSM, but in my demonstration, I use ASDM. You'll see UCS Director being used to provision vCenter. vCenter will clone a new finance portal, which is essentially a clone of an existing one. Once cloned, the Nexus 1KV is used to map the security group tag to the IP address using port profile. So this demo starts with UCS Director. We open up UCS Director and the first thing we notice is that there's a series of templates. We have the finance application portal, the licensing portal, the employee portal, and much more. So let's say we want to clone the finance application portal. We'll click on that. We'll be presented with a series of defaults, the CPU memory and so forth. I'm going to just stick with the defaults, submit it. And now that we have submitted it, UCS Director will start the process of cloning that VM. I'm now going to turn to ASDM. Within ASDM, you could actually see the bindings of this SGA tag with the name, with the IP address. Here is the finance that we are cloning. So the existing one is 10.1.32.161. Coming over to vCenter, We'll just wait a moment for this to continue cloning, and there we go, it has now continued to clone. Let's go back to ASDM, hit refresh, and here we see the new finance portal that was added, which is IP address 10.1.32.160. Clicking over to ASDM, you can see the actual firewall rule table. And here we see that the finance portal is permitted access. And what you have just seen is we have just added a new finance web server. And that web server automatically was granted the security group tag finance portal, which has permitted access. So there was no modification needed to this firewall rule table. And that is the power of TrustSec. Thank you.